Walk into this nondescript building at the University of Maryland and prepare to be blown away. Inside, a huge wind tunnel with a fan that can test aerodynamics at winds of up to 235 miles an hour. We've been involved in all kinds of vehicle developments, from aircraft, to, uh, automobiles, trucks, ships, sailboats, pretty much you name it, we've done that. It's a massive facility with walls cut into sections to control the airflow. As fuel, as energy has gotten more expensive, those, have, those issues have become more important and therefore facilities like this wind tunnel have become, played bigger and bigger roles in the design process. The fan can easily hit hurricane force winds, which I got to experience wearing a safety harness and goggles. Okay, we're now at about 30 miles an hour. It's not really too bad. Then the wind inside the tunnel really started to pick up. But the winds are now coming at 70 miles an hour. There's a digital readout outside. I can feel my cheeks moving. We're now at 90 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour, and we're now uh, really feeling the impact here. If you were out in a hurricane, you'd be blown over by this. There would be debris all around. Let's go up to 100 miles an hour. Let's see what that's like. 100 miles an hour is where we want to go. We're at 100 miles an hour here. I'm almost bending backwards, and it's really, really taking a toll on the body. But by then, I'd had enough. And now things are slowing down, things are coming back to normal. I'm Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press.